good evening sir शुभम प्रजापति yes. कुछ अपने बारे में बताएं सर एज यू नो माई सर शुभम आराम से बैठो पीछे सीट लगा सर एज यू ऑल नो माई माई सर शुभम प्रजापति आई एम फ्रॉम लखनऊ उत्तर प्रदेश आई डिड माई स्कूलिंग फ्राम टिल टेंथ क्लास फ्राम पटियाला पंजाब एंड आफ्टर दैट फ्राम लखनऊ आई डिड माई आई कम्प्लीटेड माई ग्रेजुएशन इन इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग फ्राम जे एस एस अकेडमी ऑफ टेक्निकल एजुकेशन नोएडा इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी माई बी टेक प्रोजेक्ट वॉज फॉल डिटेक्शन इन ट्रांसमिशन लाइन्स आई डिड माई इंडस्ट्रियल ट्रेनिंग एट यू पी पी सी एल टू ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी किलो वोट सब स्टेशन एंड आफ्टर दैट आई विन प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर इंजीनियरिंग सर्विस एग्जामिनेशन मोटिवेशन बेटर और मेडिटेशन का मोटिवेशन कैसे मिला सर आई वॉज लूजिंग माई फोकस इन स्टडीज एंड टू अवॉइड द डिस्ट्रेक्शन आई चोज टू डू मेडिटेशन सो दैट आई कैन इम्प्रूव माई फोकस आपने लिखा है अबाउट एस्ट्रोनॉमिकल फैक्ट्स इवेंट्स कॉस्मोलॉजिकल थिंग्स लाइक दैट यस सर तो चंद्रयान थ्री ने आपको एक्सट्राइट किया यस सर श्योर what you found exciting there sir what i found exciting was uh, the minimal budget of chandrayaan 3 in which the isro landed on the south pole whereas the other countries have pretty much big budget than the chandrayaan 3 and still they couldn't make it to the south pole hmm. what be it benefits our country or the international community sir from chandrayaan 3 chandrayaan sir the the research that it will do the, about the min- mineralogy and the cause in the seismic seismic activities on the moon it will surely help in especially if the water and the oxygen is found then it can be used as a base to uh, launch missions to, to other interplanetary missions how is india doing it right now how do you feel about india's progress nowadays are you excited as a young man how india is doing or you have something add to add to it sir i am excited about india's progress there was a time in childhood where we used to think why we aren't born in rich countries like america i used to think like that but right now i am not into that i am very well happy in in my country because it's progressing its economic conditions are improving and in science and tech it's leading one of the leading countries so yeah i, I would like to add uh, missions like these like uh, Ch- chandrayaan 3 itself was a successful mission so i would be pretty much happy if uh, india continues to do successful missions like that any other international event which has excited you in india recently so recently the g20 happened in new delhi and the uh, and the and sir the india also led the international solar alliance and the sir the aditya alwan was also a exciting mission what do you found more exciting in g20 how it is different from other g20 or in the past whatever has happened in g20 sir the what i found exciting was the help that all india did to africa in, in during the covid crisis it uh, paid out by in, by the by inclusion of uh, african union into the g20 now it's it will be now g21 from now on and the uh, the consensus of everyone to help morocco in the during because of the earthquake that hit on 8 september what was the tag line in this uh, sir it was a uh, sanskrit word vasudev kutumbakam which means one world one family one future 
what do you think modi as prime minister should do more so that the young generation in india aspires for what what they aspires for from mr modi to do more sir i think uh, the present government although is doing well but it can focus more on building the startup uh, ecosystem so that uh, young uh, young people can focus more on developing things rather than following the conventional approach of getting a job very good please to <coughs> subham yes sir now last year no this year 2023 you have cleared gate exam yes sir with electronics and electrical both branch yes sir what is the reason sir though my main branch is electrical engineering but i found very common subjects in electronics so okay. i thought it will be a beneficial use of my knowledge if i gave another exam mm-hmm. also it will give me more opportunities to the courses to enroll in if i ever chose to pursue for higher studies in which subject you are comfortable sir i am comfortable in power system no sir in gate no no Uh, just just common question sir i am comfortable in comfortable power systems only power system you have a uh, the, the good rank in what electronics it is a air 547 no yes sir and air 769 in electrical branch yes, right yes sir. okay then then you are comfortable with power system yeah power system and machines any other subject and and log electronics some some okay now uh, give me name of basic integrated chip sir basic integrated chip <coughs> sorry sir i can't think of it you heard about operational amplifier yes sir i heard it yes that is the linear sir, integrated chip sir ic741 is the open. name of that name. yes yeah. sir what are the specification of operational amplifier sir the specification of op amp is to have higher input resistance okay. and low output resistance mm-hmm. and higher bandwidth high uh, high gain and high slew rate and so low cmrr which is the ability to reject the low noise low cmrr confirm yes sir low cmrr confirm no no sir sir high cmrr so is high cmrr high cmrr okay so uh, how we are going to get the large bandwidth sir so basically bandwidth is the duration of uh, the range of frequencies up to which we can get the output desired output in the uh, in the desired output in the desired range mm-hmm. so to get a higher bandwidth uh, we can reduce the effective effective gain of the op amp by using so by using negative feedback okay we can decrease the gain so by using negative feedback we can reduce the effective gain. gain can be re- reduced. reduced but first of all we have to increase gain bandwidth product yes sir it is constant though but uh, yes it has to be increased too what is basically what is operational amplifier sir operational amplifier is a uh, direct coupled yeah. amplifier which is uh, which 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 amplifies the signal using the power from the dc biasing What do you mean by line regulation and load regulation? So in the load regulation, the load is uh, load is actually at fixed value. Uh, load parameters are at fixed value, whereas in line regulation, the line parameters are fixed, such as uh, line voltage can be fixed. Whereas in load regulation, load load voltage is is it fixed. so? What is line variation means? What do you mean by line variation? so varying the parameters of line side line side yes. so when we are talking about line regulation then what is the meaning so of sir, that so i i am not able to recall sir. okay and uh, uh, please tell me name of feedback which type of feedback we are using so in amplifiers it is negative feedback and in oscillators mm-hmm. it is positive feedback what are the advantages of negative feedback sir so negative feedback provides stability and the disturbances disturbances in forward gain part in forward gain part due to feedback forward for the disturbances in control in closed loop 
system due to forward feedback path and forward path decreases. It, it can reduce the noise factor, noise and disturbances and distortions. Okay. And sir, it also increases the bandwidth and reduces gain. Reduces. Okay. Now, tell me, what is the difference between BJT and MOSFET? Sir, the uh, so, uh, sir, the some of the differences are BJT is a current control amplifier while MOSFET is a voltage control amplifier. Okay. Sir, BJT is unipolar while BJT is bipolar device. Mm -hmm. And sir, the area of the MOSFET is much lesser compared to the BJT. Mm -hmm. BJT has negative coefficient, a uh, negative resistance coefficient while BJ, uh, MOSFET has positive resistance coefficient. That's why BJT goes into thermal runaway and MOSFET doesn't. And sir, uh, while BJT act as amplifier in active mode while uh, MOSFET act as amplifier in saturation mode. What is the difference between active mode and saturation mode? Sir, in, uh, sir, it depends on the device we are using. In the MOSFET, the, the active, term, active region means where the, uh, so where the, where, where we using the collector current to uh, uh, where we are using the current actually to control the collector current okay. in that region uh, where you, we are we call that region an active region whereas in MOSFET the such in that saturation region we are using the gate source voltage to uh, vary the current uh, the drain current we call that region a saturation region. Uh, can we make a VVR by using MOSFET? Sir, I am not aware of that. Voltage term. variable resistance. Sir, uh, when I think sir, when sir gate and uh, drain are shorted, then it acts as a resistor. Uh, in, in linear zone, the MOSFET acts as a resistor. Yes, you have idea about that. No? Yes, sir, I have some idea, but I am not no. clear about that. Clear about that. That yes. is, uh, when the MOSFET works in linear region, then we can get VVR. Yes, sir. What is variable yes, resistance? Yes, sir. You find any application of VVR? Sorry, sir, I can't think of it. Sir. Okay. So, Shubham. Yes, sir. Uh, you appeared in gate in two branches. Yes, sir. Okay. Do you think that rather than EC, if you selected IN, you would have more chances of getting a better rank? Sir, I could have gotten better rank, but uh, after analyzing the trend from seniors and teachers, uh, the IN branch is not much, ha don't, doesn't have much options in the MTech and uh, the even the branches the specialization does it offer it doesn't have uh, much career growth so uh, when you appeared for electronics did you also prepare subjects like edc and communication which is out of electrical domain sir i did prepare some of those subjects which are common in engineering services like okay. communication okay so because you are parallelly preparing for engineering services engineering services so my main focus was engineering services engineering services so do you feel your own opinion that if you had not given EC and focused totally on electrical, you would have got better rank in electrical gate? No, sir, I don't think uh, the EC profession has affected my electrical rank. All right. So now since you have got two ranks in ha uh, hand, so are you going looking for any MTech or any PSUs joining? Sir, I have been looking for PSU jobs, okay. uh, but if uh, it was my backup plan, if I will not be selected in engineering services. Okay. So I next year maybe I'll join MTech for higher studies. Okay. But your primary focus is it's engineering, engineering services. services. Let's say you are selected this year. Yes. So yes, sir. I will be joining the <coughs> services. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, you also completed your BTech in 2020. Yes. So can you and 23. So can you explain me what you have been doing this year? Did you join some job or you were just preparing? No, sir. I didn't join any job. I was preparing for uh, engineering services with prime focus and with other other exams also. Though I wasn't able to clear the exams. Okay. So you appeared in engineering services in 21 and 22 both. Yes, sir. Right. So that was only prelim stage. Yes, sir. Right. So now you have qualified prelims as well as mains. Yes. Sir. So since you have improved this year, yes, sir. okay. hopefully you get the final selection also. So what do you think, what messages you learned, why you were not able to clear in past two attempts? What sir, made you qualify mains this time? So what did you learn? So specifically for the engineering services, I would say uh, do not leave any subject. That was my prime learning for engineering services. And also pay focus to the GS part, which is the first paper of the prelims. Okay. I didn't pay much attention to it. 
and in the mains part i will say the my prime focus was to focus more on how the formulas or the derivations are coming out rather than just mugging up the formula for like prelims we did okay so suppose i want to test the stability of a system using rauth hurwitz criteria mm -hmm. what all information can i extract about the roots sir sir are we given the rauth uh, you are given characteristic equation okay sir right you are either given open loop transfer function or either you are given characteristic equation one of them you are given okay what is the information about the poles of closed loop transfer what all information you can extract that's what i want to know sir firstly we can calculate the location of poles and zeros okay and then we can calculate the location means can i tell that there is a pole at s equal to minus 2 yes i like that okay sure yes sir from the open loop transfer function we can i want the poles of closed loop transfer function i mean ultimately for stability we need the poles of closed loop transfer function na? we don't have to bother about the uh, open loop transfer function no sir we cannot pinpoint that location we can only trace the locus of it okay uh, uh, so depending on the values of the gain okay let's gain is fixed sir so not the, going towards root locus let's say gain is a fixed value for a fixed value of gain can i determine its position yes sir we can okay uh, what else carry on sir we can find out the number of root locus branches which is the maximum value uh, of either pole or zeros which okay. which are is higher and we can find out the centroid which is the point so where again you are going towards root locus i have taken a fixed gain only for a fixed gain given to a system okay what are the information about the poles are you sure we can find its exact location s equal to minus 2 ya minus 5 ya we can only tell the region in which it lies sir if we get the, if we put the value of the uh, definite value of gain in the mm -hmm. characteristic equation i think we can and 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 imagine that it can be a fifth order system it can be a sixth order system i am not talking about quadratic equations sir then we uh, sir we can get close to the location but i think acha uh, when do we get imaginary roots what is the condition for it as per rh criteria only sir we get imaginary roots when the damping is uh, when the system is undamped with respect to rh criteria we know undamped system will give um, uh, oscillatory sorry the imaginary roots i want to talk how do you how the condition of imaginary roots is reflected from rauth hurwitz criteria sir the imaginary root comes when the uh, when the ro root locus cuts the imaginary axis that is rauth hurwitz rauth hurwitz pick fix to that i'm not shifting to root locus right now because ultimately root locus cuts the imaginary axis that means it is imaginary root that is very clear from the rh criteria can you tell sir if the uh, sir if the in the rauth array if if one of the rows is zero hmm. then the there the possibility of imaginary imaginary roots okay uh, how different is nyquist and bode plots as compared to rh matlab is it better or is it worse sir rh is in time domain whereas nyquist and bode plot are in frequency domain whatever domain it may be is it beneficial or not ultimately we need more information yes, about sir, system and stability they provide more information about the what plot. more information sir they can provide about the gain margin and phase margin and relative stability whereas rauth okay. criteria only gives absolute stability okay so uh, any comparisons between nyquist and bode both are relative stability measures sir sir in in bode plot we draw separate two, two plots of magnitude versus frequency and the phase versus frequency whereas in nyquist plot we we draw the both magnitude and phase in one plot by varying the frequency so nyquist give better what is the benefit of using log in sir if the values are very high to plot on a graph or a paper we use logarithmic to con contact suppose uh, you know if the system is unstable yeah it has less stability parameters in terms of gain margin and phase margin so we normally use some compensation techniques mm -hmm. like phase lead or phase lag so can you explain me any one of them say phase lead how phase lead improves the stability sir as the name suggest phase leads it uh, adds the leading phase to the to the transfer to the system mm -hmm. uh, by which the uh, the so the stability improves in such a way that the 
वी कैन से राउथ क्राइटेरिया शिफ्ट टू दी लेफ्ट हैंड साइड और you were talking about face if you think in that domain it i think it would be fine it adds a leading face yes, then sir, it's a leading face acha no problem can you tell me some disadvantages of transfer function model very fundamental question sir it is not a unique model sir it Yes. Transfer function model. Sir, Transfer it is only applicable for linear systems. Okay. Whereas state space model can be used for non-linear. Any other? Sir. And sir, it it becomes quite hectic if the order is very high in the transfer function model. To say anything it. with respect to initial conditions. Yes, sir. Transfer function model is only applicable when the initial conditions are zero. Okay. So you are also specifying now. Let's come to the core part also. So machines, if you take over. Shwam ji. Yes, sir. <coughs> Forget about core, but I got two questions for you. Yes, sir. <laughs> you were so excited about extraterrestrial things, right? Yes, sir. Chandrayaan. Yes. Sir. What is the budget of Chandrayaan three? Sir, it was four six hundred crores. Okay, six hundred crores. So when these are excited, uh, means exciting to you. Why don't you make a career in research, sir? I was more excited in studying the things that are happening and not to be an active part of manufacturing or doing it. Come again, um, I didn't get it. Come again, sir. Tell me I, again. I was mo I am more happy in observing things as they happen and not not much more happy in becoming an active part of manufacturing them or uh, like playing a part in sending them to the space. No, before sending, uh, like obviously you have to sit in the lab and you have to do hell lot of things, right? Yes, sir. Sir, uh, to that I'll just say that I'm I I find more happiness or excitement in knowing what the people other people have done in space exploration. Mm -hmm. But I have one more question. Yes, sir. Modi can do a bit more <coughs> by cultivating startup culture. means uh, rather than going with conventional way yes sir right yes. why did you choose conventional way for your career sir after analyzing myself i i thoroughly gave it a thought in college years i actually didn't come couldn't come with an idea that i could start a startup on and actually it requires a uh, funding also for capital okay it requires capital for startup and i didn't have ideas to be honest so I chose the. No, no, I'm not. I'm not saying about startup, but maybe rather than going in a conventional way to become IAS officer, rather than that you could go with technology, artificial intelligence, data science, cyber security, full stack development. Those are all not conventional actually. It means about to happen are happening. Yes. Why did you choose conventional? Because IAS is ages old. Yes, sir. sir i think sir since it is age is old so it is a it's like a proven way of uh, doing things <laughs> with a mental belief chapter five okay it's fine it's fine so you have done something in uh, 220 kv subsection right yes sir i'll <coughs> ask one straight question in india yes sir why most of the voltage are multiples of 11 sorry sir Why frequency is 50 h? Sir, whereas in US it is 60. Yes, sir. It doesn't actually make much difference. It is a it is a choice of choosing the standard. Mm -hmm. Sir, which is standard? Sir, in 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 India it is 50 hertz. Um, so choosing lesser. Which is better actually? 50 h is uh, better or 60 h? Sir, so from machine design point of view, from machine like capability point of view, whatever it may be. Sir, though the size of the machine can increase with inversely proportional with the frequency, mm -hmm. so we can say choosing less frequency can increase the size. But why don't we choose maybe one kilo hertz or one mega hertz, such that the whole big machine will become like this, and you can keep it in your pocket. Sir, increasing frequency, the the magnetic flux. density also decreases so we have to keep uh, keep keep that in mind also to operate at a certain magnetic flux
flux density. No better. Whatever you said was right. <coughs> when frequency is increased, machine size will become less. Less volume of materials is required. That is right. Okay. So rather than having frequency of uh, 50 h or US 60 h or maybe somewhere else it can be 40 h. Power frequency we say right. 40 h to 60 h. Why can't it become 1 kilo h or 1 mega h? Such that really size will be reduced. Why don't we go ahead with like EC guys? Why don't we go ahead with mega h? Sir, I think since we are dealing with transfer of bulk power, so we in bulk power, what is stopping you not to go ahead with maybe one mega h? Oh, sir, I can't think. Good. These are all general questions. It's okay. Uh, last last question. In our out of all machines, which machine will have highest noise? Sir, I think alternators have, uh, synchronous machines have highest noise. Synchronous, salient or cylindrical? So, so salient pole have higher noise. Why? So, because of the protruding poles, it mm. protruding poles in the salient machine, the, the drag of the air and the har harmonics also, they all contribute to the... No, don't use noise. harmonics, it's okay. So, yes, that's fine. For example, if I want to design a clock, normal clock, yes. which motor you prefer? Sir, stepper motor. Since the 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 R of the the R hand and minute hand moves in steps, so I think stepper motor. Why not synchronous motor? Sir, since it rotates with a constant speed, so that is what is required now for time. Yes, sir, but. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it happens, it happens. One last question, buddy. Yes. If you are doing some direct loading test on any motor in our lab, right? Small motor, brake drum will be there. Upon the brake drum, we will keep like belt and we will tighten it. Hope you got it. Yes. Right? We pour water into the brake drum, right? We pour water into the brake drum. Pani. Yes, sir, yes, sir. If we don't pour, what will happen? Sir, I think it is, uh, I don't know exactly, but if you allow me. No, no, you can analyze. analyze. You can analyze. Sir, I think it is, uh, it, it is to reduce the friction and, uh, to, and the cooling down of it. Yeah, for example, you forgot to pour. Sir, Kya ho sakte? then it might develop uh, heat and it mm. will cause damage to the motor. To oh, the because brake. of heat, which part of the machine will be damaged? Sir, I think the... The, since the friction will be developed between the belt and the so that the heat will be developed, okay. Load will be disconnected if the belt breaks. Belt heated. Yes, sir. After that, uh, b uh, drum heated. Yes, sir. That heat will have to enter into the machine because of the temperature rise. Something has to happen to the something has to be damaged. Yes. Which part of the machine will be damaged roughly? Sir, think ins insulation of the windings. Mm -hmm. Bearings. Sir, I don't know how much it is. It's fine, it's fine. Okay. I'm done, sir. Uh, Subham. Yes, sir. I want to ask you an order of preference. Yes, sir. First, you have given Central Power Engineering Services Grade A. Right? And then you have second choice is Central Electrical and Mechanical Engineering Services. So, you have chosen it. I mean, it's lifelong. So, you have collected some data about this information. मुझे बताओ ये दोनों में डिफरेंस क्या है सेंट्रल पावर इंजीनियरिंग सर्विसेज और सेंट्रल इलेक्ट्रिकल मैकेनिकल क्या वर्क क्या है नेचर ऑफ वर्क क्या है और क्या क्या अपॉर्चुनिटीज है इंजीनियरिंग सर्विसेज द कोर कोर इलेक्ट्रिकल ब्रांच कोर ब्रांच फॉर द इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियर इट इट डज द वर्क ऑफ लाइक मेकिंग पॉलिसी मेकिंग फॉर द इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड इट आल्सो एक्ट एज एडवाइजरी बॉडी टू द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया फॉर फॉर एनर्जी पॉलिसी एनर्जी पॉलिसी एंड इट इट डज पावर इंजीनियरिंग थर्मल एंड हाइड्रो पावर प्लांट्स Whereas I think in CPWD uh, or Central Engineering and Mechanical Engineering Services, uh, the it is the main function for a civil engineering body where the government architectures are made and for the electrification purposes, an electrical engineer is required. 
uh, it is under which ministry central electrical and mechanical engineering services because that central power engineering services it is under ministry of power yes, sir. and then what about this central electrical mechanical engineering services so, sir, no idea about yes. that yeah and aapne kaha ki central power engineering is basically deal with the core electrical yes, to electronics or mechanical walo ke liye yahan par koi choice so surely the designing of the machines will require mechanical engineers hmm. and the and the dealing uh, and the with the digital with the digital world and we live in it will require electronics engineers too okay. okay tell me what are the advantages of hydro power projects over just thermal power project sir hydro power projects are much cleaner in terms of emissions and uh, hmm. fuel it all it also doesn't actually require fuel because uh, it uses the potential energy of the water stored converted into kinetic energy and uh, and sir some of its disadvantages are it is location specific the uh, and and sir if we don't have problems like the ash problem or handling of coal in hydro power plants and sir it uh, it is i think it is the most less economical way of producing electricity can you give some hydro. name of uh, turbine used in hydro power projects sir one one sir uh, the two i can think of is kalpan turbine and francis turbine okay so what is the basic difference between these two turbines sir i don't know i just knew the names of it मेरे पास एक क्वेश्चन आया था जब मैं यहाँ था कि जो आप पानी पंप करते हैं पानी जब पंप किया तो हमने एनर्जी दी पानी चला गया ऊपर टैंक पर अब वो वापस नीचे आ रहा है ठीक है तो क्या मैं उस पाइप पर टरबाइन लगा कर बिजली प्रोड्यूस कर सकता हूँ और अगर मैं प्रोड्यूस करता हूँ तो क्या वो फिजिबल है सॉरी सर तैयार रहिए ऐसे क्वेश्चन आपको डील करने पड़ेंगे दैट इज सेंट्रल पावर इंजीनियरिंग सर्विसेज में क्योंकि आपको पूरे देश भर से आपके पास क्वेश्चन आएंगे आइडियाज आएंगे और उस आइडियाज़ को आपको चेक करके आपको जवाब देना होगा ठीक है तो ये आप, आपने चॉइस भरी है इसलिए मैंने एक और मैं आपसे क्वेश्चन पूछना चाहता हूँ मैंने सभी के बायोडाटा में देख रहा हूँ जैसे फादर आपके जॉब में थे दैट इज़ इन सीनियर सेक्शन इंजीनियर रेलवे में ना लास्ट में ही इज़ रिटायर्ड नो He is retired now. Sorry, sorry. Sir, he was in Vegas. कि काफी retirement हुआ. Sorry, जब job में रहे होंगे तो काफी transfer हुआ होगा. No, sir, it it wasn't a much transferable job. अच्छा senior section में sir transfer नहीं हुआ. Okay. Come. अच्छा एक और बात बताओ यार हम लोग सबको देख रहे हैं जैसे annual income of your father लिखा है इस point पर बोलना मुझे form पर मैं कुछ पूछना चाहता हूँ क्योंकि UPSC का जब DA form भरते हैं उसके बाद कुछ suggestion भी मांगते हैं आपके interview लेकिन अगर मदर हाउसवाइफ है तो लोग जीरो इनकम लिख देते हैं क्या कुछ पैमाना होना चाहिए इसको मेजर करने का ये कभी हार्ट नहीं करता कि यार लेडीज कोई काम ही नहीं करती मतलब सोचने की बात है यस सर इट इट एक्चुअली डज मेक 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 सेंस दैट बट वी कांट वी कांट मोनेटाइज द वर्क व्हाई नॉट सर बिकॉज़ इट इज Done for the fam for the family for the sake of happiness only. That's why the government took the initiative to change it to homemaker name the, from the housewife. Yeah, just we are simply changing the name yes, from housewife to what homemaker. But again, you are you you mention here housewife because I think there was no choice for that. Yes, sir. Yeah, simple word housewife. Yes, sir. Because you have select, yeah. Yes, sir. Now do you want to give some suggestion for this? कि भाई आपको बनाने में तो उनका पूरा रोल है ना ये सर वी कैन वैल्यू क्यों नहीं करते यस वी कैन गिव सजेशन दैट वी फाउंड अ वे टू 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 रिप्रेजेंट दोस एफर्ट्स इन अ मॉनेटरी वे वी कैन डू हमारी जीडीपी तो डबल हो जाएगी ऐसे में यस सर आपने इसके बारे में कुछ सुना है कि कुछ ऐसा गवर्नमेंट की उसमें नॉलेज में था हो रहा है नो सर मैं नहीं करता तो आपने क्या एक्चुअली फॉर्म भरते समय मैंने सोचा आपका ध्यान गया होगा कि एनुअल इनकम ऑफ योर मदर इज 
चलिए कोई नहीं ओके सर आप आप ऐसे करिए और पांच मिनट बाद वापस आइए सर दो साल पहले करेंगे कि आपको इंजीनियर सर्विसेज में जाना है सर आई आई एक्चुअली वंस विजिटेड हिज ऑफिस एंड आई सॉ द ऑरा ऑफ एडब्ल्यू एस व्हाट आई वाज टेलिंग सी इज इंजीनियर रेलवेज इज सीनियर सेक्शन इंजीनियर्स है उनके जो बच्चे हैं दे आर डूइंग क्वाइट वेल विद दे फाइंड द एनवायरनमेंट देयर और ऑफ ऑफिसर्स तो उनको लगता है कि दिस क्वांटम जंप इज रिक्वायर्ड if they got through the upsc am i right okay that's good last time we have no ek interview mein koi railway ka aaya tha is very smart person mm-hmm. anyway but aise to theek hai aapka pehne odne sab karna acha hai very good bluff bhi kahi mara nahi hai aapne bluff marna bhi kabhi nahi hai jo nahi aata hai wo exactly socha soch ke mana kar diya answer dene ki jo रिप्लाई देने का जो रिस्पांस सिस्टम है वो भी ठीक है आपका सोच के रिप्लाई देना यानी बिना सुने पता नहीं जल्दी जल्दी घर में जल्दी बात करता नहीं एक आदमी जब तक तो दूसरा आदमी बीच में बोल पड़ता है वैसी टेंडेंसी होनी ही नहीं चाहिए वो तो खैर अपने फादर से भी सीखी होगी आपने अच्छा बाकी वट यू फील योर इंटरव्यू वॉज सर थैंक यू कहां पे लग रहा है आपको कि डाउन था कहां पे लग रहा है सर इन द मशीन पार्ट व्हिच क्वेश्चन सर सर आस्क ओके ए दे दे आर वेरी जनरल क्वेश्चंस राइट सर बाय 11 के भी मल्टीपल ये ऑब्जर्वेशंस जो आपके आज जो कोई एज ए इंजीनियर आप तो यू आर लकी दैट योर फादर इन इंजीनियरिंग एनवायरनमेंट देयर राइट फ्रॉम बचपन से आप देख रहे हो सारी चीजों को कन्वर्सेशन डाइनिंग टेबल पे ड्राइंग रूम में या कभी फ्रेंड्स के साथ आपके फादर का होता है तो आप सुनते रहते हैं सारी चीजें तो इंटरेस्ट जनरेट हो जाता है उन चीज़ों में ऑब्जर्वेशन हो जाने लगता है तो अब आप इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियर हो गए तो आपको ऑब्जर्वेशन बहुत अच्छा रखना है आसपास जो जैसे घर के अंदर जो इलेक्ट्रिकल अप्लाइंसेज यूज होते हैं उनके बारे में समझना यार ये ऐसे ही क्यों बनाया इसका क्या फायदा इससे पहले क्या था फिर इसमें क्या एडवांटेज कर दिया किस वजह से आप थोड़ा सा इससे आपकी ऑब्जर्वेशन अगर रखोगे उस पर तो आपकी थिंकिंग में वो चीज़ बहुत ईज पर आ जाएगी इंजीनियरिंग की चीज़ें बहुत ईजनेस में आ जाएंगी ये मे नॉट डायरेक्टली यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू मैन्युफैक्चर समथिंग बट अंडरस्टैंडिंग में जो चीज आने लगती है वो ईजनेस क्रिएट कर देती है टू अंडरस्टैंड मच कॉम्प्लिकेटेड थिंग्स इन लाइफ नहीं तो वो थोड़ा ऑब्जर्वेशन रखो राव साहब ने बहुत जनरल क्वेश्चन पूछे थे तो वो उसके बारे में आपको थोड़ा सा इस पर अलर्टनेस रख लीजिए ठीक है बाकी तो जी के यू हैव क्वाइट अवेयर ऑफ इट फाइन एप्लीकेशन फॉर्म में जो इसको जो बोलते हैं जो भी लिखा है उसका एक एक वर्ड आपको वैसे पता होना चाहिए अगर नहीं है जो हमने भी नहीं पूछा है लेकिन आपको लगता है जो इंटरव्यूअर टू योर ओन सेल्फ कि इसमें मैंने ये लिख दिया है अब वो तो उस समय लिख दिया था अब जरा दोबारा से देख लो इन सब चीज़ों को और एक एक चीज़ को ढंग से समझ लो इसको इस पर से ही क्वेश्चन जनरेट हो सकते हैं इसको इंटरव्यू आपने खुद वॉल्टियर करके लिखा है उस पर तो आराम से हो सकते हैं कोई चाहे चॉइसेस हो चाहे कुछ भी लिखा हो उसके अंदर राइट तो इसलिए इस पर विशेष ध्यान देने का राइट और जब आप एंटर करेंगे तो जैसे आप किए थे स्वाइन जो विश कर देना है सबसे पहले चेयरमैन को अगर लेडी ऑफिसर बैठी हुई है इंटरव्यू उनको करना है देन देर आफ्टर अदर्स राइट सर अगर लेडी चेयरमैन नहीं है तो भी पहले लेडी को चेयरमैन को ही करना है बिकॉज इज द कन्वेनर ऑफ दिस मतलब तो सर वो ज़्यादा जैसे मेल चेयरमैन है और टेक्निकल में एक लेडी है तो पहले बोलूँ गुड मॉर्निंग सर गुड मॉर्निंग मैम देन गुड मॉर्निंग सर हाँ तो दिस राइट एक ये चीज़ हो जाती है बाकी शूज वूज सब प्रॉपर पॉलिश हो गए 
और पॉलिस शूज नहीं है आपके अब तो आजकल फैशन नहीं है पता नहीं क्या है कोई बात नहीं सो देट डे यू फाइन बट एवरी थिंग शुड बी लुक नॉर्मल नथिंग शुड एब नॉर्मल ये भी अगर एब नॉर्मल लगेगा अगर नहीं है तो लेदर के शूज पहने तो ठीक ठाक होने चाहिए राइट अगर आपने ब्लू बल्ब लग रखे तो बेल्ट भी लगी होनी चाहिए हालांकि दिखाई नहीं दे रही बट यू विल फील योर सेल्फ गुड है ना सर ने जैसा बोला एक तो पूरा जो डिपार्टमेंट्स जो भी है ना आप थोड़ा डिटेल और कब है आपका इंटरव्यू कब है तब तो बिल्कुल कॉन्फिडेंस लूज करने की जरूरत नहीं सब सही चल रहा है मतलब कोई ज़्यादा खास बात नहीं मतलब ना आप में कूल रह के बस थोड़ा सा प्रिपेयर कर लो थोड़ा सा डिपार्टमेंट के बारे में ना गूगल कर लेना तो आपको पता चल जाएगा कौन सी मिनिस्ट्री है क्योंकि ये ना नया है जिस कई बार क्या होता है हम लोग ने जैसे बोलते हैं ना कि नहीं पता है मिनिस्ट्री या किसके अंदर है तो हमको ऐसा लगता है एकदम कैजुअल अप्रोच हो गई इतनी बड़ी बता दिया आपने मान थोड़ा सा तो दिमाग लगा पहले ये ग्रांटेड ले लिया जाता था अभी क्या है ना इन्फॉर्मेशन है ना अवेलेबल है आपके टिप्स पर अभी जाओगे आप तुरंत निकाल लोगे तो आप बहुत ईजिली ढूंढ सकते हो तो इसमें जो भी लिखा एक ही काम करो दो दिन में कोई भी ऐसा शब्द आपका बचा है इसमें उसको आप दो चार लाइन लिख लो उसके बारे में जैसे सर ने कहा ना वैसा तो आपका ये सब जवाब हो जाओ मिनिमम तीन क्राइटेरिया जो तीन आपने भरा है फर्स्ट सेकंड थर्ड चॉइस और लास्ट की जो लास्ट की जो चॉइस भरी है वो पूछिए कई बार उसी डिपार्टमेंट का कोई आ गया तो फिर उसको भी मतलब किस तरीके से जस्टिफाई करना है मतलब उनकी लास्ट को नीचा ने दिखा के अपनी जो टॉप है उसको बता देना की ये मेरी प्रायोरिटी इसकी तो मतलब उनको किसी को भी वो नहीं करना अपने को नीचे मतलब वो नहीं दिखाना चाहिए कि हम एग्रेसिव दिखा रहे हैं बाकी ठीक है टेक्निकल में आपका एनालॉग ठीक है थोड़ा सा और अगर हल्का फुल्का ब्रसअप कर लो बाकी चलेगा कोई खास बात नहीं है जवाब दे दोगे आप लेकिन आप अपने कोर को कॉन्फिडेंस से संभाल लोगे ना पहला फर्स्ट टाइम है आपका इंटरव्यू ठीक है आई थिंक आपके पॉजिटिव जो मुझे लगे इज योर कॉन्फिडेंस इट इज एज पर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर इंटरव्यू मतलब परेशान नहीं हुए आप ज़्यादा यू आर बींग स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड एंड यू लुक टू बी हार्ड वर्किंग आप मेहनत करके ही यहाँ तक आए हो मेन्स को निकाला है इस बार सो so, ये चीज़ आपके कॉन्फिडेंस को और एड ऑन नहीं करनी चाहिए कि यहाँ तक आ गए हैं आगे भी चले जाएंगे और कॉन्फिडेंस था मोरलेस कॉन्फिडेंस था uh, आपने अपने uh, जो एरिया जस्टिफाई किया जैसे राठी सर ने बोला एनलॉग में आप ठीक थे अभी आपको के एन सर मशीन्स के बारे में ही बताएंगे बट समाइम्स यू नो फेवरेट में पूछते जरूर है बट समाइम्स दे गो आउट जैसे मैंने थोड़ा कंट्रोल्स को इसीलिए टेस्ट अप कर लिया ठीक है तो वहाँ पे आपकी फंडामेंटल नॉलेज रिक्वायर्ड है लेकिन अगर आपको लगता है कि वो एरिया आपका एक्सपर्टीज नहीं है थोड़ा वीक है तो ट्राई टू डाइवर्ट आई मीन यू कैन बी स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड की सर या आई डोंट नो दिस मच मतलब ब्लफ मत करना आपने किया भी नहीं बट आई एम टेलिंग यू फॉर दैट डे ऑल्सो कि अननेसेसरी आप जितना ब्लफ या अननेसेसरी डीप जाओगे जिस चीज़ में आपको आती नहीं है तो वो आपके उस पर्टिकुलर पोर्शन ऑफ टाइम को वेस्ट करेगी सो इन दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम यू कैन बी स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू हैंडल सर मैं ऐसे डायरेक्टली कह सकता हूँ कि सर मैंने कंट्रोल रिवाइज नहीं किया बट आई एम स्ट्रॉन्ग इन मशीन तो मतलब ऐसे डेविट कर सकता हूँ क्या नहीं कंट्रोल तैयार नहीं किया वो बोल दो लेकिन हम मैं आई एम स्ट्रॉन्ग इन मशीन बोलने से मशीन वाला चालू हो जाए मान लो तो फिर अब मतलब तो जो आप अगर आप ऐसा बोल देंगे तो आप स्ट्रॉन्ग है ना तो फिर एकदम जाएंगे सो एंड नेक्स्ट थिंग इज गो टू इंटरनेट इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन इन मशीन एंड पावर सिस्टम सारे वीडियोज मिल जाएगा एक बार देखो क्योंकि फ्रेंकली स्पीकिंग यू डिड नॉट प्रिपेयर एनी थिंग इन मशीन एंड पावर सिस्टम बिफोर इंटरव्यू ईयर फ्रॉम इंटरव्यू पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू कैन इज इट राइट राइट जनरल थिंग्स right very general things you need not go and do some intricate analysis in inside the machines in the air gap harmonics they don't ask but general things just to go through once hardly it may take 2 3 days for you when is your interview 15th september 15th september 15th september 2 days after more days tonight is enough for you yes sir you can do it tonight is enough you okay, just go through just go through that's enough because most generic questions only they ask yes, yes you look very good gate bhi likha hai ई भी लिखा है तो दोनों एग्जाम में डिफरेंस होता है ना 
हो सकता है आपने कोई और एग्जाम भी कभी लिखा हो इसरो का एक्सेट्रा एवरी एग्जाम हैज देयर ओन टेम्परामेंट सिमिलरली इंटरव्यू के भी ये क्वेश्चन एक्सपेक्ट मत करो कि जैसे आपने प्रीलिम्स की तैयारी की थी वैसे स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड होंगे ओके दे आर मोर रिलेटेड टू यू नो प्रैक्टिकल वर्ल्ड से भी ज्यादा रिलेट करके पूछते हैं सो दैट इज व्हाई सर इज सजेस्टिंग यू कि गो थ्रू इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस ऑफ स्पेशली योर कोर एरियाज व्हिच यू कैन मैनेज इट 2 डेज यस सर आई कैन या ओवर द नाइट इज इनफ फीज यंग एंड एनर्जेटिक राइट सर यस वो आपने इससे पहले मॉक दिया भी नो सॉरी फर्स्ट द फर्स्ट टाइम था मॉक आपको कुछ पूछना है आपको कुछ पूछना बताइए नहीं सर दैट्स ऑल ऑल ठीक है ये बता दिया कोर्स पर लखनऊ में नो सर 16th को जाऊंगा सर मॉर्निंग में पहले 16th मॉर्निंग में सर इंटरव्यू अच्छा आपके ओके अच्छा इंटरव्यू तो यहां यूपीएससी हॉल में ही होता होगा यूपीएससी घूम कर आ गए एक बार नहीं सर अभी तो नहीं शाहजहा रोड सर वो आप यहाँ डेली में स्टे कर रहे हो या नोएडा में डेली में अच्छा ठीक है